2.0. Hold on. Hold on. How do we turn it on? Oh, there we go. All right, back from the run. I'll talk to you about how it went today in a minute. Uh, so I was able to win a race, and it's exciting. And that prize money, it helps a lot of different things in the uh, Demore household, that's for sure, including reinvesting in taking care of my body, taking care of the legs. So uh, one of those things is some items I ordered here from Amazon, and uh, yes, Oh, I'm excited. All right, here we go. You, I think, I think you all know that this was on its way here. I think I mentioned it. Oh yeah. The ankle, this is for ankle strength. This is what I use in the gym. Uh, and frankly, I just, I need to be doing it more than two to three times a week, preferably every single day. So this is a, I'll call it a stability uh, disc. Um, actually it's, it's from power systems and I hope, oh boy, oh boy, I'm going to need a pump. Oh boy, does anybody own a pump? Anyway, uh, so this is for my ankle. So again, just reinvesting here. And this second box, I have been saving money for this thing for over a year actually, because I just couldn't justify buying this um, when, you know, the family has to pay the bills. So, but finally after Utah, I decided, you know what? I've been waiting a year for this. It is time. I hope this is it. Uh, let's see here. So again, this is another item for uh, taking care of the body, but I for, okay, there's two in here. Okay. I'll come back to that in a minute, but hold on. Is this it? I hope so. Let's see here. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. So actually I bought a travel size squirrels nut butter for, uh, the travel that's coming up for New Hampshire, Amsterdam, and hopefully some other races in the future. So I needed a travel size uh, squirrels nut butter, but then bada bing, a bada boom. Oh, the world's most powerful vibrating fitness roller. Oh, there it is. So this is a foam roller. And yes, foam is going to be the key word for this blog because I'm going to show you uh, some of my foam rolling uh, routine, as much of it as possible. Uh, but this foam roller uh, vibrates, and I used one after the Under Armour Race 50K last summer, and I'm telling you, my legs felt so much better after using this immediately after a hard, hard mountain 50K, so 31 miles. So I am so excited, everybody. It's just like, oh, I've just been pinching pennies, everyone, just trying to pinch pennies to save money for this, and it's like, it's finally happening, and it's like, patience, it's just patience in this world, so let's open this up, hold on here, okay, oh man, oh, does it come with, oh my goodness, I, it's rechargeable, I thought I was going to have to put batteries in here, okay, that's really cool, oh yeah, there it is, the Viper 2.0 VYPER, I'm going to charge this up right now so I can show it to you. Oh, that is so exciting. Oh, it's just like reinvesting in taking care of the body. That's what it's all about right now. All right, let's roll. Okay, everyone, let's get going. The sun is setting quick uh, on the foam rolling. So what types of foam rollers do I own? Oh man, so we've got the, just the normal foam roller that I went with. I only have the small one 
because I like to pack it uh, for travel. So it's really easy to take to races. I think this is 16 inches, maybe 18. Can't quite tell. So just the normal foam roller. Then I have this trigger point. Uh, you all have seen this before. It has these ridges on the, uh, on the actual roll to help uh, work out the knots or the trigger points in your legs. And it, this thing used to hurt so bad, but now it doesn't hurt, frankly, almost at all. I think my legs have uh, built up a resistance to the trigger point, which I think it just means my legs are getting a little more durable and strong. So that's good. Um, so anyway, normal trigger point. And then of course, what just arrived today, this, uh, so the company is Hyper Ice. The model is Vi Viper 2.0. I'm not sure if I mentioned that earlier, and I will show you that here in a minute. We are gonna start with just the normal foam roller. So I always start with this guy and then work into the trigger point. This is uh, for warming up the muscles, uh, especially in the mornings. If you jump right into the trigger point, you might, you know, it, your, your legs might bark at you a little bit. And I should also say, I wouldn't use the trigger point two or even three days before a big peak race uh, because it will dig in pretty good and it doesn't exactly feel great uh, in the moment. But uh, we, after a hard workout during peak training, I, especially long runs, I really love using this, but that's just a point to remember. So the first uh, foam, roller, the foam roll that I like to do is my calf. So it's the uh, calf uh, myofascial release. And basically you're gonna put one leg on the foam roller and it's your left leg here and then i'm going to cross over and all of these i've been doing for years and years so you might have to ease into it by just doing both legs without a, the single leg because when you cross one leg over you're putting quite a bit more weight and pressure on the uh, in this case my left leg so keep that in mind you honestly just ease into it ease it might take you a month to build up enough resistance and uh, I guess leg, yeah, leg durability to be able to handle it. So, um, so anyway, I'm gonna cross over and then start down by the ankle and then just slowly, and that is tip of the day. Slow is better. It's like cooking a steak, low and slow, low and slow, baby. It'll feel much, much better. Um, sorry, it'll be more effective. It won't feel better, better. it'll actually hurt more. So just fall off from the ankle up toward the knee, all the way right there to the top of the calf. And then see that was a little too fast on the way back down. Just nice and easy. So you wanna do this, you can do this every single day uh, for 30 seconds, three sets, just nice and easy each leg. So three sets of 30 seconds each leg and then alternate, you know, alternate in between and then you can do, switch to the other leg just like that. So I'm not gonna do 30 seconds for each one. So there you go. All right, moving on to the next one. So we're gonna sit right on the foam roller here with your glute. So I'm gonna work on my left glute first. So you put uh, your right leg into the ground, your right foot onto the ground, you cross your left leg up, and then, oh, be careful. It's, you're gonna feel it. Oh my goodness. So this is really good to help because your glute, everyone, like I, you, we always talk about our hamstrings and our quads but our glute muscle is a big, big muscle. And it's really important for our leg drive and our leg strength. Um, so we can't forget to roll this out again, three by 30 seconds each glute. Um, and you, you, know, you might not have time to do this every day, but uh, just like that, nice and slow, nice and slow. And um, oh, see how I'm just rolling there, nice and slow nice and slow and then of course with the glute you just to alternate you kind of move the foam roller to the other side and then plant your left foot and then right leg up and then that'll get your left whew, get your left glute as well all right moving on pretty standard and this is actually also why i like the uh the shorter foam rollers rather than the long ones because it's just a little easier to move around uh but i just see so it just like it's not it's just easier to handle but we're going to move on to the hamstring foam roll um, so again, you can start without crossing your leg over, but um, I'm gonna cross over, so just like this, and can you see that there? And then just nice and easy, three by 30 seconds, and then just back and forth up that hamstring. And I'll also say foam rolling is a core workout. 
you are balanced. It's a core, like you, I feel it in my core um, as I'm moving up and down, nice and slow. So there's that. And then of course you switch to the left and then the same, just boom, and then uh, cross your leg over and then just like that. And then, okay, this is not too hard, right? Not too hard, okay, quad. So again, just boom, and on the ground, and I'm gonna cross, uh, we're gonna do my right quad, so I'm gonna cross my left leg over my right leg in the back. Let me just move these real quick. So here we go. So, oh man, whew. Okay, so I'm crossing it over. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You're gonna, it's gonna bark at you, everybody. It's gonna bark at you. So again, three by 30 seconds each leg, nice and slow. And if you're doing a warm up before a race, you, I, would, I would not do single leg, I would do double leg. So double leg would look like both legs on the foam roller, okay? And um, if you have really uh, big legs, you might have to get a longer foam roller. But I wouldn't do single leg right before a race just because you want your uh, muscles to warm up before a race, but you don't wanna risk you know, just say like too much pressure. I wouldn't do single leg if I were you. Okay, and then moving on to the to the left leg again. Cross. If I'm doing my left leg, then I'm I'm see this. My 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 right leg is crossed over and just back and forth, nice and slow. Okay, good stuff. All right, moving on here. So that was the hamstring and quad. I did both of those kind of quick. All right, we're just gonna do one more for tonight, the tibialis anterior foam roll. So basically you're going to uh, put the foam roller on your shin area, put both, both hands uh, up in front, and then you're gonna put your, your, the leg that you're not rolling uh, into the back. And then basically you're gonna pull that foam roller toward your hands, okay? Kind of driving your knee and then back and you want to get that outside just to the outside of your shin bone okay oh man this oh if you have shin splints this is for you um, or if you're trying to avoid shin splints this is for you so just nice and slow kind of going like that hopefully you can see this well and uh and again just like all the other ones three by 30 seconds and this is the tibialis anterior foam roll. All right, there you have it. That is my foam rolling routine, except I did not show you my IT band foam rolling only because it's a little controversial. Uh, I'd say in the running world and the, in the medical professional world, some people don't recommend it. I've been foam rolling my IT bands uh, for 20 years, so I feel confident in doing it. Um, but I always like to mention, always, always go consult a medical, somebody with a medical background, whether it's a uh, a doctor or a massage therapist or your trainer or whoever, like wherever you're at in your life, um, always seek out medical advice first. Uh, but I just wanna be as open with you as possible as far as my foam rolling routine. And on that note, should we fire up the Viper 2.0? Hold on. Hold on. How do we turn it on? Oh, there we go. On button helps. All right, you ready for this? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Should I get my face reaction here? Oh, whoa, whoa, hello. Hello, okay. Okay, there's different settings, I think. Uh-huh. Oh my God. Whoa, Nelly. So again, whoa, hold on, don't jump away from me. So after my 50K, once again, the Under Armour 50K, I, I'll try and find footage of it. I used this and it was like night and day as far as my legs, how they felt the next day. Oh my goodness. So this is the Hyper Ice Viper 2.0. You better believe it's down below. You better believe it. They don't give it away though. That's why it took me over a year to save up uh, enough money to buy it. Wow. Okay. All right, everyone, I hope that foam rolling helps you all out. And we'll continue to dive into this topic of foam rolling. And here it is. And again, it's Hyper Ice is the company, but the Viper 2.0 is the model of this foam roller that is charging here. And okay, let me take these down. The New Balance Fuel Cell Rebels. Uh, that was yesterday's shoe. Here, is the, here are the Hoka 
Carbon X is that treated me well again. They treated me well. 20 miles on uh, today's run, 725 a mile. So nice and uh, what I would put in the steezy category. So steady plus easy, and you call it steezy. So the steezy category, there it is in the kilometers as well, in the kilometer pace. Um, so no complaints, just a nice, good aerobic effort, uh, two and a half hours. So, okay, here we go. These are my new, this is the other item that arrived uh, outside, uh, out, just right out there. These compressed sport um, underwear. And basically, again, I'm so, oh man, intrigued to keep my calves and my lower legs happy, but what about my upper legs, all right? So my hamstrings and my quads. So again, the, now they don't give these away, uh, but because of the Utah race and the, uh, the little bit of prize money, I decided to, again, invest in another piece of recovery gear that um, I will test out for all of you just to see, like, you know, do I feel a difference? Is this helping at all? Um, if I put these on after a 22 mile long run, or maybe even after the marathon in Amsterdam, like, will it help my, or maybe, gosh, I just thought of this, maybe wearing these for like part of the flight over to Amsterdam. I don't know. I, I'm just, everyone, we're just testing here and trying to figure out, uh, together. So anyway, these are the compressed sport, uh, small, I think they're size small. Yeah. And, um, made in Switzerland. Very cool. Looks like Geneva. So that's cool. Oh man. Nope. Nope, take that back. Not maybe, not, but I think it's a Swiss company. So anyway, all right, that is it for today, everyone. Uh, a couple old, well, thank, first of all, thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. And wow, we're just, we're just moving ahead. And like a lot of new people here and, oh, I wish I could shake everyone's hands, but um, oh man, just thanks for spreading the word to your running friends about this YouTube channel. And we keep going. All right, if you want to dive into a couple old vlogs, we're going to go with a stretching vlog. No, sorry. Yes, stretching vlog on the right. And then on the left, a, a recovery vlog. Since we were talking about recovery today with the foam roller. So, all right, there you have it, everyone. See beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.